Okay, so this is a video that's going to review some of the problems and some of the concepts that we taught during chapter 8. And I, I just hope this is pretty helpful for you um, as you kind of watch this. And, and remember, always come back and, and you can watch it as much as you want and, and review some of those things and get, get some reminders. And I think that um, that's an awesome thing. So we're just going to go through some of the problems on this screen. I think we got three or four or five of them or so, like something like that. And so let's just start. So most of the problems that we are talking about in this chapter revolve around what we call regular polygons. And regular polygons, and, and the shape you see over here on the right, um, what they are are polygons with any number of sides, but all of the sides on them are exactly the same length, and then all of the angles on the inside are exactly the same angle measure. And so we can have polygons with different numbers of sides. The one that I've circled in blue, that is a pentagon. And pentagons, as you can probably see, have five sides. And so we are going to answer problem one, two, three, and four here, all based on that five-sided shape to the right. So let's start doing that. Problem number one says, what is the sum of the exterior angles? Now, let's remind ourselves real quick, what is an exterior angle? Um, we have exterior angles and interior angles. Now, let's compare it to an interior angle first. I'm going to put a dot, a red dot, on the inside of this shape at kind of like all of the corners. Those are like your normal angles. Those are, those are angles you think of when you think of just shapes in general, right? The inside corners. Those are interior angles. We could write that interior. Exterior angles do not show up, but you can find exterior angles and you see exterior angles if you take one of the sides that makes an, in, an interior angle and we like extend that side. So I drew that one side by the, by the red dot on the left uh, and I drew that side in pink and I drew it farther on the outside. This angle right here with that extended side and then with one of the other sides of my pentagon, that is an exterior angle. And all shapes will have the same number of exterior angles as the same number of interior angles, and that will be the same number as the same number of sides. And so since this pentagon has five sides, it has five interior angles, and it has five exterior angles, which means at every single one of these interior angles, I can extend one of the sides, and there's another exterior. I extend the side, here's another one. I extend the side, here's another one, and finally, at the fifth one, I extend it, and here's our fifth one. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not the only way to extend these angles, and you are right. There are two sides that come together to make one angle. And so at all of these, I could have extended the other side. So I'm going to get rid of the top one here, and I could have extended it this way. Now, it doesn't make a difference because then my exterior angle would just be on the other side, but it would ultimately be the exact same value. And so by extending a different side, it does not change it at all. All you want to do is extend one of the sides at each of the interior angles. And again, each time you do that, it creates an exterior angle. Now, to answer the first question, it's just something probably that you want to memorize. I don't really think we have enough time to go through exactly why in this video. Um, but the sum, which means add them all together, add all of your exterior angles together, your sum of exterior angles always, whether it's a five-sided shape, a six-sided shape, a 10-sided shape, a 100-sided shape, it doesn't matter how many sides, the sum is always 360 degrees. And so if you ever get that question on a test, the answer is always 360 for the sum of exterior angles, always. Now, going down to number two, this question is asking us, what is each exterior angle? So each and exterior. Each is going to mean like one. So all of them put together is 360, but each individual one is something less than that. So how can we figure out what each individual one would equal? Well, each individual one is the same as another individual one. 
And so all you have to do is take the 360 degrees and divide it by how many exterior angles there are, which again equals the same amount of sides. So again, in this pentagon, it has five sides. So if I wanna know what one exterior angle equals, I take my total, which is 360, and I divide by five. And 360 divided by five is, and that's what I'm gonna use the screen to the right for. This is my Desmo screen. I'm gonna use this as a calculator. So I'm gonna type in 360 divided by five, and you can see in that little box, it says it equals 72. So 72 degrees is the answer here. Because again, the total was 360. If I divide by how many sides there are, it tells me what one of them is, and it's 72 degrees. Now, moving on to number three, we want to know the sum of the interior angles. So these are the inside angles. So those are my red dots, and I'm circling my red dots now. I want to know what those equal in total. Again, here's the word sum, and the sum means that we want to add them all up. And again, we're talking about interior angles, so the inside ones. Now, this is different than exterior angles. Again, exterior angles, as we mentioned, they're always added up to 360. Interior angles change depending on how many sides you have. And there's a formula to figure it out. That formula is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And that n, we need to put a number there, and the number we want to put there is the number of sides the shape has. So as you get more sides, you will have a bigger sum for your interior angles. So remember in this shape, it is a five-sided shape. And so that number five, that's what we want to put in for n. And so let's do that. So our equation here would be five minus two, oops, sorry, five minus two times 180. And five minus two is three, so that becomes three times 180. And then we need to figure out what that is. So I'm gonna go to my calculator on the right, and I'm typing in three times 180, and that is 540 degrees. So all of the interior angles, the inside ones, when we add them all together, in this problem, it has to equal 540. But remember, that changes with the number of sides. The number of sides is what you will put in for n. Now, that brings us to the fourth one on this screen. What is each interior angle? So again, the word each means one. So we know what the total is. The total is 540. If we want to know what each one is, and remember in a regular polygon like this, each one is gonna be exactly the same. We're gonna take our total again, and we're gonna divide that by how many sides we have. So again, our total of interior, right? We're working on interior. Our total is 540 degrees. This shape has five sides, so 540 divided by five is our answer here. So I'll type 540 divided by five, and you can see that says 108. So 108 degrees is our answer for what each interior angle is. Now, you will get a problem like this on the test, and uh, it's just going to have a different number of sides. And so take this as an example, but some of these problems where if you have a different number of sides, it's going to change our answer. Make sure you're very careful and make sure you see how many sides are in the shape on the test. All right. Now, number five here, this is a tricky problem. This is a tricky one. And so on this one, it says a regular polygon. Actually, you know what? I want to skip this one. We're going to come back to it. Let's do this one right now. And it says number two. The order is weird. Don't worry about that. Um, let's just talk about number two. It says if each exterior angle on a regular polygon has a measure of 24 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? Well, let's reference, right? First, we're talking about exterior. And they're saying that each exterior angle equals 24 degrees. All you have to do in a problem like this is, remember, exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to take that total, and then we're going to divide it by what one of them equals. And so that would be 360 divided by 24. 
when you take your total and you divide by what one angle equals, it is going to tell you how many sides there are. And so I'm going to clear up some of this work we've done on our calculator. And all I need to do to answer this question is take 360 divided by 24, and it is 15. So this polygon has 15 sides. If you take your total of your exterior, which is always 360, and you divide it by how much one exterior angle equals, which in this case is 24, it will tell you how many sides there are. And so that tells us 15, so 15 sides. Now, that brings us to this question. Because notice, this question is very similar. A regular polygon has an interior angle, so that's one difference, an interior angle, of 156 degrees. But the question is the same. How many sides does the polygon have? The only difference is they're asking us about interior instead of exterior. But if we can turn it into an exterior angle, if we can take that interior angle of 156 and turn it into an exterior, all we have to do is do 360 degrees divided by that exterior angle. And actually, we can turn an interior angle into an exterior angle. Let's talk about how. I'm going to draw kind of a polygon. Only the top part, though. And I'm going to put some dots. Because remember, we're answering the question, how many sides does it have? I do not know how many sides it has, so I can't actually draw a full polygon. So I'm just going to draw part of one. And remember, it's telling us, hey, the interior angle is 156 degrees. Remember, interior is like our inside angles. And so let's put 156 degrees in one of the corners that I made. That's our interior angle. Well, if we turn it into an exterior, remember, just like what we did below, all we have to do is do 360 divided by that exterior angle, and we have our sides. Remember, we can get exterior angles when we take a side and we extend it. And so when I extend that, I don't really like that line. Let's make it closer. Yeah, there we go. When I extend that, this pink dot, remember, that's my exterior angle. And so if I can figure out how much that pink dot is, now I have my exterior angle, and I can just do 360 divided by that. And we can figure that out. Because my interior angle, which is 156, mixed with my exterior angle, those two angles form a straight line. Straight lines always equal 180 degrees in total. And so if part of my 180 is 156, if I do 180 and minus that 156 then, that is going to equal what my exterior angle should be. And 180 minus 156 is actually 24. So this actually turns into the same problem below. This 24 then, that's my exterior angle. And so now that I have my exterior angle, all I have to do is take 360 degrees and divide by that exterior angle. 360 degrees divided by 24, again, is 15. So this shape has 15 sides. Now, that's a little unfortunate that it worked out that way. Um, but again, the process is what this is all about. It could have worked out to be like 36 sides or, uh, you know, 30 sides, or it could have worked out to be any other number. Um, but once you turn it into that exterior angle, you just do your 360 divided by that angle, and it will always tell you how many sides there are. Okay? All right, so I want to go through one more problem that I think will help you um, have success on this test. So here we go. And I want us to focus on B here. Uh, you see three problems. We're going to do B. And so it says, name the polygon according to the number of sides it has, then find the value of X. On your test, you do not have to name it, but we'll just name it real quick. Now, remember, to name, to name polygons, we need to know how many sides there are. And so in this one, you can see here's one side, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five. This is a five-sided shape. A five-sided shape is called a pentagon. 
So this is called a pentagon. So we want to somehow do some information, do, do something here to help us solve for x. What is the degree measure of this angle where x is? Well, take a look at all of the angles. And notice this box down here. That means this angle is 90 degrees. Don't forget about that. And then we have this 93. All of these angles are on the inside. These are all interior angles. And so our goal here is to figure out what do all of these angles add up to? Remember, we can figure out what the sum of interior angles are. We can figure out what all of the inside ones add up to. If I remind you, that's what we did here on number three, that formula is n minus two times 180, where we plug in a number into n, and that number is the number of sides of the shape. And so let's bring that idea back down to the problem we were just going on. We can figure out, again, the sum, which means what all of these angles add up to, if we use the formula n minus 2 times 180. And again, n is the number of sides. Well, how many sides is there? We just decided there are 5, right? It's a pentagon. So we can figure this out by doing 5 minus 2 times 180. 5 minus 2 is 3, so 3 times 180. And 3 times 180, if we go to the calculator, is 540. So all of these inside angles, all of them, x and 132 and 109 and 90 and 93, in total, they must equal 540 degrees. So let's set ourselves up an equation where we can use that and then solve for x. So I'm literally going to add all these together. So I'm going to start with x and then plus 132 and then plus the next one, which is 109, and then plus the next one, which is 90, and then plus the final one, which is 93. And so that's adding them all up. And again, they must equal the total that we figured out, and that total is 540. And so now we just want to solve this equation for x. And so let's start that by combining our like terms. All of these numbers here. Let's figure out what 132 plus 109 plus 90 plus 93 is. We'll type that into our calculator. 132 plus 109 plus 90 plus 93. And you can see that says 424. And so those four numbers combine together to be 424. And then we still have our x. And so we still have now x plus that 424. And that still equals our total, 540. And so we're almost there. We just have to get x by itself. We'll do that by doing the opposite of what's there. So we'll subtract 424 from both sides. And so x is going to equal this 540 minus 424. And so 540 minus 424 is 116. So that x angle is an 116 degree angle. And that's what we were able to solve for. So I hope this is helpful. And I really, really encourage you to, to, to listen to it and look it over and then come back to it um, if you need gentle reminders every now and again. Okay, and, and I think there's good information here. And of course, if you need clarification or if you have any more questions, definitely please reach out to me and I will be absolutely help you to help you, happy to help you with that. So thank you so much. Have a great day.